Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. This is part two of MIDI filter events in Reaper. In this project, we have a piano and it sounds like this. There's a few mistakes I put in here. There's some short notes right here that are not supposed to be there. They're mistakes. And also over here, these green notes, they were hit very soft. In fact, we're not really hearing them. So I want to remove these from the performance. Instead of having to select each one, we can use our filter. Hit F, and then we'll choose our event type to be notes. We're not going to choose which notes, but we're going to choose notes based on the velocity. Because these notes right here in green were hit very soft. So they were mistakes. So we'll go to velocity and type in zero to 20. Let's see what shows up right here. Now we just see those notes. Let's solo them. We could barely hear them. So we know the mistakes. So now we could select them right down here. And then we could delete them from the performance because we know we don't need them. Next, we have these short notes over here. Once again, those are mistakes. And we can usually tell because they're so short. So let's open up our filter. Once again, we'll choose note. But instead of using velocity, let's use length. And we'll start from zero. And let's go up to 30 second notes, show it in our filter. And now we can see just these little notes are showing up. So once again, set selection. So those notes are now selected and we could delete them to clean up the performance. much better. And like we did before, we could separate parts of the performance and readjust just those notes. For example, up here, we have the melody. And I think it's a bit too loud. So we could separate these notes from the others. Open up the filter. We'll choose note and turn off length. Use piano keys. Let's click right over here and go all the way up here, much higher. And let's see. Now we can see we just have the melody. We could hear it in solo. And then we could select it separately from the other notes. Now we can readjust the velocity of just the melody. We could also combine this feature with MIDI note properties. So let's put this back before I fixed it. Open back up the filter where we chose the notes right here. And now that they're selected, we could use MIDI note properties. Let's right click one of the notes, go down here to note properties, which opens up this dialog where we could change many things based on what's selected. For example, we could change the length to be half as long by multiplying it times 0.5. Now the notes just on the melody are half as long. Or we could double them times two. 
and it doubles the length. Or we could readjust the velocity based on percentages. For example, let's say you want to make the notes 75% of what they were. Multiply times 0.75, apply it, and the velocity changed to 75% of what it was. Or make it 20% higher by multiplying it times 1.2. So we can make our changes based on fractions or percentages and do it based on the selection from our filter events. Now we should also note, although we're not going to go through it in this video, besides doing notes, we could do poly after touch or control changes and just choose a control like our foot pedal and choose value and type in specific values or change channel pressure, pitch, and just choose values of our pitch wheel. So we could also filter certain data based on that criteria. Well, with SysX, channel pressure, but I find it most useful for working with notes. And we can clear the filter right here. Remove the notes from selection and start all over again. I should also mention we could set the filter based on our selection. So if we choose all the notes right here and set the filter from selection, it's going to create a filter based on what's selected, which is E5 with the velocity of 78 to 85 and the position in measure and the length. We can remove all these and just choose the parameters we want to work with. But anyway, that's the MIDI filter events in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.